We are talking data today with Heather LaRue. Hello. <laughs> Go ahead, Heather. Okay, so today what we're going to do is step through what I do to prep all the data that you get from iStation and what we do to prep all the data we get from your PSI or your PASI, depending on what you're giving. So we're going to start in iStation. And most of you are probably familiar with the report tab. But you will click on the report tab. And then you will go to skill growth by tier report. And when you click this, um, the best way to get what you need is to do a customized report. You need to make sure it's on the right year. And this is the difference. For at the beginning of the year, we suggested having you use your overall reading score to let you know if a child should be tested um, with 95%, so tested either a PSI or a PASI. Um, and I have learned that Instead, the best way is actually to look at your spelling or your word analysis um, score. And then you can click on a grade. Um, I think most of you actually will just have your grade. Right now we're using Mr. Shirley's um, password and username. And then you would click on your name, making sure that you've got the right report. But again, I think that's all you have access to anyways. Then you'll run the report. And when you run the report, you're going to get, hopefully this is familiar to you, you're going to see a line graph that tells you how your kids are doing. Um, this is actually by month. So this shows you the very first data point that was made then September, October, all the way to January. Obviously, if you've done February, it'll have that data point also. Um, when you come down here, there's multiple tabs that you can click on. So we're going to go ahead and just click on the November, January tab. And I'm going to scroll down. And you can see that what we're going to start looking at is actually not the tier. That's what we told you at the beginning of the year. But if you come to realize a tier only has three levels that a child can be shown in improvement on. Only three. One, two, or three. That's it. And as I have been taking a class, I realize <coughs> that that doesn't really show as much. A child could stay in a skill three all year long or a tier three all year long and you just get frustrated. Show no progress. Right, right. So, but we all know that there is progress happening. And so what we're gonna start looking at instead is percentile ranking. Cause now you have 100 mm -hmm. percentages that you can move within, your child can move. So obviously even the smallest of movement is going to show. So what I have started doing, and you will all receive one of these and so has um, Mrs. Fouts, also another instructional coach. Um, she and I are printing this report. So you just go to print, and it will look exactly like this when you print, except it's going to have all the months, which is kind of nice. You don't, it doesn't matter what tab you're on, it's going to print all the months. So, and then what I've been doing is looking at the percentile ranking and watching it. And obviously it's going to fluctuate depending on the child's day, if the child's having a good day, dep depending on if the child is staying focused, depending on, I mean, there's multiple factors that could happen. So yes, it is going to go up and down, but the idea is that it stays consistent, consistently going up. Um, and then that your data points stay within a certain range of that line because some of our data points, the range might be the, or the line, yeah, no, the range, the range might be the green part, but let's say your green line, your trend line is down here, which is still green, but your uh, monthly average actually goes and dips down in the yellow. That's not good. You wanna keep at least your greens in the green. Obviously, we wanna see the yellow travel up into the green, and the red would be great if it traveled up closer to the yellow. That's what we would like to see. 
Um, and I'm sure as a teacher, that's what you would like to see. So that is what, what we are using. Then obviously, depending on how they're doing with their percentile ranking, will depend, will tell you whether or not they need to be PSI or PASI, depending on what grade <coughs> you are. So that's what our first step. We look at the percentile ranking and we decide, you know what, this child is going down. I'm going to give them the PSI and find out why. And let's say I do give the PSI and I find a hole. Great. We're going to work on that hole. And then we're going to watch the percentile ranking the next month. What if they go down again? Well, then I would go back to the PSI and I would look to see what's going on with that child because there's got to be something more. It's either attention maybe, or it could be a bad day, or it could be attention. I think I already said that. It could be that they process differently, or they aren't trying their best, <laughs> which we all know. So that's what we should do. And then what you will do is you, after you've looked at this, there is a site in your OneDrive, which hopefully everyone is aware of now. Um, you would click on your OneDrive, which is the blue cloud. I don't know, does it show over here? Mm -mm, okay. There's a blue cloud on your right hand side of your screen that you would click on. And most of you have been trained in this. If you have not, the training is coming soon. And you would click on your OneDrive and then you would go into your PSI data and you would look to see how they're doing on their PSI. And if they're still struggling, then you are going to need to look deeper. What's going on with this child? Because there's something. Um, and again, it could be behavior. It could be emotional. It could be academic. It just depends. But that's my red flagging. And then I would go look and find out. Okay. Anything else? No. But, well, this should be what you what you use when you meet in your data meetings. Um, either you've already looked and highlighted, or your coach has done that for you, or um, you didn't know about this, but now you do. <laughs> and highlighting is what you should come with to a data meeting. Everything should be ready. You should have concerns ready to be asked and hopefully to talk about. Um, not that you're going to look at the data when you arrive. You should already have looked at it and then start be ready to talk about what needs to happen for the kidlets that you're worried about. Okay. Well, thank you. You're welcome.